What's up everybody, finally got a headset so I can start making these videos for you guys. Um, I'm using Camtasia Studios 30 day trial, so uh, that's the best free one I was told about. So just to get some videos out there and show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, I've been commenting on some videos saying you, know, you shouldn't be doing it this way. Um, a lot of people, well one video in particular, someone was making a door. And it was, he was making it by eye, like, uh, the panels in the door. And I commented on it. People were saying, why don't you make videos of your own? So, here I am. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I didn't know a lot about the mic situation. So, I did some research, got a mic, and found out about a free software to record my screen. And here I am. So, I want to show you guys how I do stuff, how I've learned how to do stuff from like home improvement shows. Uh, I asked my dad some questions about this kind of stuff because he's built a lot in his day. Um, or just stuff I picked up just messing around. I've been on this program for about like three years, so I've come a long way since my first botch house. So anyway, this is my most recent project. Uh, still a work in progress. I don't have any stairs coming up. No front door, garage door still being completed. Uh, the last thing I did was this top bar. This top bar was kind of tricky, especially this window, because usually um, I make a cutout for each window, as you can see there. But instead, let me jump into this. This is like I push and pull this off of the actual wall itself. So that was kind of tricky doing that. Uh, it took me a little while to do it. But uh, like these windows, these were cut out. And I just took this window and moved it up. But anyway, let me show you guys the exterior of this house. And this is my latest project. Um, I usually get these houses off the internet. I try to find houses that have a picture of the actual house so I can get uh, silent, siding color references, uh, foundation or stone color references, window color, and uh, just to show you, this is what the house was actually made to look like. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I doodled on it. Uh, I open it in paint and I just um, get the uh, suction or the eyedropper just to get the color. And then I write that down, I go back in SketchUp and I mess with the colors on the siding. And uh, hopefully when I start making these videos, I'll go into all that as I'm doing the actual model. So uh, this house is what it's supposed to look like. I modified it a little bit. First thing you can notice is the roof. I don't like how these roofs don't line up. Uh, that bothers me. So I did some creative altering and I made the roof what I wanted it to look like. Uh, also on this left side... Um, I made a little side porch here on my model because yeah, I don't know why I did it. It just it just came to me one time I was working on. It, I was like, I'm just gonna make a little little porch here, and that's what I did. So hopping back over to the to the model, let's take a little tour around the exterior. So this is the front, going around to the side. Uh, usually my houses have these returns in it, so it just helps with the look. It just makes it more classy, more sleek looking. Gives it like a craftsman style house look. Going to the side, this is the um, the side porch I was telling you about. Just did some railing and extended the foundation out a little bit so it all is flush. Nice white uh, sides on the Again, I, I make the returns just because it just makes it look better. Like, I also, if you can tell, well, I'm sure you could see it, but um, I make these little uh, trim pieces coming down off the roof. If I were to hide this, I make my walls 8 feet and 4 inches tall. A normal house has 8 foot high ceilings, so uh, I just go up another 4 inches just so uh, the roof, like, actually is fitted onto the house like a hat. That's my best way to describe it. So like, oops, when I unhide, uh-oh, there we go. When I un, I think I deleted it. <laughs> anyway, when I uh, have the roof back on, 
comes down like this is four inches, one, uh, two here and then two there. It just gives it this trim all the way around the house that it just makes it look a little bit more uh, more custom, I guess, more craftsmanish. Gives it a nice look in my opinion. I mean, some people might think it's stupid looking. I just think like when, before I used to do these returns, it just looks like the how the roof was just sitting on a house. And it didn't really look realistic. So I did these returns, and ever since then, I think it looks really good. I like these returns. They just make the house look a lot nicer. Heading around to the back. Um, I have a couple ideas for the back here. Uh, I want to have, like, a, a park coming off of the house, like a screened-in porch area with the roof coming off. And I could either have, like, a wraparound porch or just, like, one chunk coming off the side. So... And then, since this is the garage over here, like the garage over here, I would have a, a window here and a door. So, I kind of don't want to mess with that unless I had the door coming off, off of the side. Which, I mean, that would be fine, but if I had foundation here, I couldn't have a door there. But, just some ideas. I mean, nothing's permanent yet, so I'll mess with it, see what I like. I feel like a wraparound porch might be too much, so I might just stick with the one side. Anyway, moving on to the other corner. There's my return, looking nice. Gonna wrap it around to the to the side. The black and the white give it a nice contrast. I think that with the gray and the foundation color it makes it look really good. So, again, I want to make this house a project house. Like I want to make this same exact house just cut it up in the certain videos like maybe i'll do the walls and the foundation as one video showing you guys step by step how i make these videos or how i make these houses um again with the windows the windows take a lot of time i mean i don't know why but sometimes i'll be there for like a half hour just making like maybe two or three windows because let me show you this one i make it look as realistic as possible like the wall sits in this little groove like that would be the cutout and then just figuring out like how how wide I want the window part how wide I want the uh, the part that holds the glass in and then just not messing up like sometimes I do a little uh, mess up and I gotta go back and fix it so little things like that cost time but I think these windows came out pretty good. I mean, I'll hide all this. And um, also, this is something I started doing when I started doing like the Craftsman style house. Usually, if you look at a Craftsman style house, uh, the pillars for a roof that's uh, overhanging the front door, like this pillar is built into the foundation, which is what I've done here. And I found out a pretty nice way to incorporate it without it being, like, too unrealistic. Like, I don't think they would really do this in real life. But when the roof is on, it just sits right up in there flush with this bottom trim piece. And it just kind of goes good. I mean, I think it looks good. I mean, I don't know how else I would really do it besides just having it go up the same, like, size as this square up here. But that's just how I do it. Again, I don't know how I got started with these little things I do, but I just think it looks good, you know? Everything's just tucked in, everything's flush. Everything looks good to me. I mean, again, someone might be watching this and think it looks like crap, but, you know, that's your opinion now. If anyone has, like, any anything to say, like, I take criticism in a good way, you know, if I'm doing something that should be tweaked a little bit or whatever, you know, uh, just say what you guys say down in the comments below, and uh, I'm not going to be like bashing on you for saying what you think on my videos. I mean, I know I've said some things on other people's videos of the way I think, so uh, I just want to show you guys how I do it. And who knows, I could be doing it totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone has their own way of doing stuff. But, you know, I, I use measurements, like all these, all these windows are same size symmetrical I measure everything out same with the walls 
uh, depending on the blueprint. Not every blueprint is the same. Like if you look, this wall is thicker than this wall because this house was made with 2x6 framing on the exterior of the house. And then the interior walls are just 2x4s. So I'm pretty sure this is 4.5 because for you guys who don't know, a 2x4 is actually 1.5 by 3.5. So I get four and a half because uh, three and a half for the two by four, and then half inch drywall on each side can you four and a half. And then with these exterior walls, six and a half because a two by six is actually one and a half by five and a half. And then you got siding. Actually, with this house, yeah. Well, actually, with with the real house. They incorporated the stone, which will make the wall even thicker. But I didn't do that. I just did the foundation as stone. So that saved me a little bit of thickness. So this actually should be close to realistic measurements, being six and a half. Because you got like half inch. Actually, it might be even thicker because, well, you have your half inch for your drywall. Then you got your five and a half for the studs and then I have a half here for the siding but realistically you'd have siding plus your uh, exterior wood which would be like two by uh, four four foot by like I actually don't know the measurements it might be like four by six foot uh, sheathing that goes around the whole house But I try to make my houses as realistic as possible. I mean, I know they're not perfect. And in no way am I an architect. But that's how I make my houses. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave them down below. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully, I'll be getting more videos out and showing you guys other models I've done. I got a couple that are finished. But this is my latest project, and I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys watch again. Thank you.